It is widely recognized that the crises of the 21st century will be marked by water. In some places, the problem is too much water. In other places, the problem is too little water. Nowhere is this truer than in Africa, a continent marked by persistently low levels of socioeconomic development, combined with environmental extremes. While 100% of North Americans and Europeans have access to piped water supplies, according to UNICEF, only 19% of Kenyans, 10% of Ugandans, and 4% of Nigerians have such access. More than 1 billion people worldwide do not have access to safe wastewater services. That someone dies from a wastewater-related illness every 20 seconds. The desire to improve the water services linked to these high rates of mortality is the primary driver behind our establishment of the UE Africa Water Security Program. With generous assistance from the Lloyd's Register Foundation and from a community investment fund jointly supported by Hewlett Packard Corporation and the University of the West of England, we have created a fund that funds UE students to spend between one and six months working with African partner organizations to assist with water infrastructure development. In the following clips, UE students who have participated in this program tell you their own stories in their own words. I've been in Uganda doing a research project looking into water quality, access and sanitation in schools in Kanungu. Uh, looking into how water access can potentially aid poverty alleviation efforts mainly and that's pretty much what I'm interested in and why I'm working with Volunteer Uganda to build experience towards a future role in employment. The research we did there was based on water quality, the access and the sanitation. Um, where we visited 26 schools. 84% were still contaminated, which is sort of hit home that the research we're doing here could be so useful. My name is Kamese Joffrey. Uh, I work for the National Association of Professional Environmentalists, uh, which is a Ugandan-based NGO. The University of West England has been very instrumental in uh, our water program. We have constructed two wells, uh, which are used by the communities. The efforts of Oscar, the student from this university, that led to the development of the Water User's Guide, uh, which guide has been very instrumental uh, in directing or helping our leaders in the communities uh, manage better the water resources that they have. My name is Oscar McLaughlin. And the booklet was essentially just meant to be used as a tool, very, very humbling to kind of come back a few months afterwards and find that something I did actually affected kind of a whole village life, essentially. What I didn't know was the fact that there's so much groundwater under Africa and it's just the fact that there isn't the infrastructure to get it out. Um, it's really helped my research because I've already done all the data collection that I've needed over the summer, so I'm in a really good position now. So my dissertation's on its way, my research on its way, where some of my fellow students, they haven't done that yet. I just found the people out there really welcoming and nice. It was a nice community feel, um, and I just had like a really good time. And wherever household you went to, everyone was just so nice to you, let you in, gave you like food and everything, and had nothing. I really enjoyed it out there. Um, my time there was really great. It's probably one of the best summers I've ever had, as I've never been to the African continent before. Yeah, I definitely recommend the experience to anyone, as it's helped me so much in terms of my academic skills because I was able to work with two researchers out there who directed us but also allowed us to really be a part of creating the research and conducting it as well as analysing it. One, it's a fantastic experience. Two, you can collect data for a dissertation, that's what we want to do, and you get invaluable amounts of knowledge because you get to see it firsthand. I've just got a much better view on the world in general, really. The best thing I've ever done, definitely. As much as it was fun, it was eye-opening and educational. Oh, just the best experience I've ever had. The stories told by these and many other students are truly inspiring and the experiences have been for them life-changing.